Hey guys, so today I actually have a more informational video for you guys. And this video is all about needles. So if you have a needle phobia, please click out of this video. Um, I will be showing needles. I will be talking about needles. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different types of syringes and or needles um, to show you guys, just to give you guys an idea of what different needles look like and the packaging and all that. So without further ado, this is your last warning. If you have a needle phobia, do not continue on because I will be showing needles. They won't be getting put into anyone's body or anything like that, but I will be showing the needles. Okay, so these are all the needles that I have currently um, that I just wanted to show you guys. And I have been requested to share as much information about medical equipment and medical tools as I can. So whenever I get the chance to make a video like this, sharing things like different sizes of needles and different types of needles and what they look like to give you guys information, then I will definitely do so. Now these, um, I was just recently in the emergency room um, because of an incident that happened at work. And so um, these, the nurse in the ER actually gave me so that I could make the video. These are collected from school and different things like that. <clears throat> so, Without further ado, I'm going to show you one by one all of these needles and give you information about them. Okay, so first off, I wanna start with this needle. This is a monoject needle, and it's in this container because it's sterile. I don't know if you can see that. Use once and destroy. It is sterile, but as soon as it comes out of this little plastic, it is no longer sterile. So this is actually, it can be used for oral, um, medications as you can see at the end there it's just a one milliliter um, they come in like four different sizes I want to say but oral medications things like that so that's the purpose of this little tiny one as you can see it is very small it'll actually fit in my hand Okay, so this next one is a three milliliter lure lock syringe, as you can see there. And the reason why it has the little lure lock, as you can see, is you can connect this to a needle. You can do um, different devices that have the lure lock tips themselves, um, IVs, things like that. And this one is a three milliliter, like I said, but the main point of this one is this lure lock tip. As you can see, it screws in there. So that's what makes it different from different um, from the other needles. Although it does have the syringe end, like the other syringe that I just showed you, it also has this lure lock um, end here. And because it has the lure lock tip, it is not to be used for oral medications. So this next one is very common. 10 points to the first one who answers what kind of needle this is. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it is an insulin needle. Um, this is one milliliter. And um, I'll show you how small this needle actually is. Now look at that. The needle itself is not very big at all. And this actually has a safety device on it, as you can see there. I'm not going to use it because I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna actually make a different video talking about needle safety and things like that. But I just wanted to show you guys how small this needle actually is and never recap a needle, but I'm going to, so I'm breaking the rules. So now we come to this needle. This is actually a tuberculin needle. Um, it also has the safety device, as you see. Um, the needle is very small as well um, compared to the insulin syringe. But like I said, this, this is the safety device. I'm not gonna take the cap off um, just because, well, I guess I can. So, 
here is the little needle on this one. Now you can see the tip there. I'm not trying to stab myself, but um, yeah. Just another small syringe and TB is sub Q. And again, never recap a needle, but I'm going to just for the purposes of using these needles for a needle safety video. Um, never do what I just did. Okay, now I wanted to show you these um, together because this one has not had the safety mechanism used yet. Um, and I just did this to give you guys an example. But these are actually for IV purposes, which is what you can see here. This is not a needle. This is an IV catheter. So when you have an IV placed, this is what is in you. There is no needle there anymore. It is this little catheter. But this started out like this. So I don't know if you can really see in there the little spring, but there is a button over here, this white button. When you push it, the spring will pull the needle back down into this little part right here. So let's see if I can show you guys better on this one. As you can see, it's all the way at the bottom. And that's just an auto guard to protect you so you don't get a needle stick or anything like that. It does come with this protective cover as well, which is what you can see here, but I'm not going to actually have this needle go through the safety process because I want that to be part of my needle safety video, but it does come out looking like this. So this is the IV catheter and it was together like this. So that's pretty much it for my needle video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned some good information. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoy these types of like nursing related demos and information, like more educational videos, definitely let me know and I will try to get my hands on some other things for you guys so that I can demonstrate how they work, show you what they look like and give you guys an idea of how to use them. So then you're not st stuck, you know, asking questions or not understanding how to use something. Um, I've always said that if I can share tips and tricks with you guys that are helpful and will save you time and maybe stop you from making mistakes or hurting yourself in the process, then I would definitely like to do that. But that is it for this video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future and I will see what I can do. But for now, that's all I have. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you guys again soon. Oh, and stay tuned for the needle safety video.